Okay, what we have for sale here is a 1993 Cadillac Fleetwood Superior Limo. It's a six-door limo. It has a 5.7 350 Chevy motor in it from the factory rear wheel drive uh, these are brand new wheels or I'm sorry brand new tires and I actually um, purchased these wheels um, from another guy this car is in my name anyways I'm gonna just go around and show everyone Actually, I'm going to go inside. Starts up pretty easily. Uh, mileage, let's see what the mileage here. It's just right at almost 64,000 original miles. At the moment, it's 63,968. That's very low mileage, folks. Um, let's see if you can see. I don't know if I can get my. There we go. This is who made it? Superior Coaches. There's their number. Basically, the information here. Um, the uh, the stereo does not work. Um, it's just in there, pretty much. Um, now, the the heat and AC in the in the front um, do the, they both do work. Now, the rear. When I first got the vehicle, it wor it worked. Here's the rear heat control, climate control. And I mean, it, it did work, but I don't know now. I don't know. I don't know. It might be a fuse or something. But it's just, you know, those are cosmetic things that you're going to have to figure out yourself because this car is sold as is. Looks like it, I, I think someone had a, uh, an aftermarket radio in here. But like I said, this is a. Uh, I I haven't I haven't owned this too long. I mean, little cosmetics here. You're, you'd have to deal with that. I mean, big whoop. It's a '93 for its age. It's in it's in good condition. No jokes. Little cosmetic things like, I mean, you know, some rust down here, and uh, I don't have that plate. That's something uh, you'll have to get. So anyways, um, the motor, uh, oh, it does have a, I actually looked under there uh, at the, uh, at the exhaust, the muffler, and uh, it's got a, a hole right there that can be patched, but, you know, these wheels are in great condition. This is the only wheel, the center cap of the wheels that has a crack in it, but I tell you what, these, the wheels, I mean, I got, I got these. Uh, from a guy but these are the actual original wheels that came on this I made sure but you know the, the tires all four tires have less than four miles on them just want to show you some more cosmetics and you know you're gonna get in a 1993 you know you're gonna have a little bit of interior floor coloring you know it is uh, there is no floor mats I bought skirts for it, uh, the two rear skirts because it didn't come come with it. There's a little on the driver's side, but the passenger side is the one to look at. It's something, it's, there, there's some holes it looks like someone tried to fix it or something. But, you know, I just, I'm trying not to leave anything out, you know.
especially if uh, someone's going to buy this in another state or can't come see it. But buyer is responsible for all shipping arrangements. I do take uh, take PayPal, all major credit cards, MasterCard, Visa, American Express, and Discover. Um, this car will only be released upon cleared payment, and that's to my my bank. So keep in mind, make a PayPal payment. Don't expect this you just to come here and make a PayPal payment and walk away. It's got a. It takes three to four business days for that money to hit my bank account. Once that's done, you are able to take the car. Now, credit card payments will be um, processed a lot quicker. It takes uh, 24 to 48 hours to hit my bank account. You can pay for it with credit card by 6 p.m. my time, Eastern Standard Time. Then it'll, you could probably get it uh, the next day because my credit card processor batches out at 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. No, remember, Saturdays aren't business days, nor Sundays. Just coming around, showing, showing. You know, she, it's a sweet running car. Hate to get rid of it. Look at cosmetic right here. Big deal. Very clean running car. These suckers run forever too. I've got a truck. It's got over 300,000. It's got the same motor. And it just keeps on going and going and going. Kind of like the Energizer Bunny. Let's see here. Let's see. Um, let's see, and also, this is the stuff that comes with the car. Um, this piece right here goes under, actually I took that off um, just to check some things under there and never got to put, put it back. Uh, these are the reverse tail lights. Um, I just took them out. They need to be replaced. I kept them just to match them up with some. There's some chrome stripping that I got. <laughs> Believe it or not, I went to AutoZone and spent probably about $60 on that stuff. But come to find out, I only need a little bit. Oh, this is to the, um, uh, that would be passenger side uh, rear door. Let's put it back together. Uh, note that all the power locks do not work, but the all the windows work except this one. It's, I mean, it'll, it'll work, it's just it doesn't like to roll back up so it's temperamental so um, missing missing an emblem right here and there's a little cosmetic issue right through here and oh this, yeah this is this is the worst part about the car you need, you need to do a little bit of body work not not too bad I would just put you know maybe weld something in or here let's bring it back so I can show I bought, I bought these skirts for it because I didn't have it, and uh, I, I don't know. I, just, I don't know what happened here. It doesn't even look like rust. It just looks like it was like I, I honestly do not know why that's there, but it could be covered up and then hid behind this this little paneling right here. 
Uh, anyways, um, uh, the, the antenna doesn't work, the power antenna, but I'm sure it could be, um, you know, worked to, made to work like that. Um, I, I just propped this down to not show my, my license, but that is my plate. But anyways, oh, let's shut the trunk and just kind of go around, uh, around it one last time. And this sucker would quiet way down if the if that little that hole in the muffler was not present. It's on the muffler itself. I'm sure just a patch or something would work, but. I know that um, the sun visors and the headliner are off, and I don't know. I don't know if someone tried to screw them on the headliner, but as I walk up, I will open that driver's door and show you guys that. I think you know someone might have. I don't know. Who knows? This car is in my name, open, clear, open title. Some stuff that someone will need to Got a little sunglass holder right here. Pretty cool. This is a little emblem. That's actually, I don't know why, but they must have blocked off that vent or something. Who knows? Probably for the rear AC and back in the back um, but other than that kind of stuff I mean it's all cosmetic stuff and this is all sold as is like I said you know you're gonna have that little little undercarriage rust you know but I mean, what do you expect? It's a 93. Great looking car. Just want to kind of go around maybe. We got a little bit of, looks like rubbed, it, rubbed a little bit right here. But, can't really tell it from here. A little cracking right here. Got that nice hood ornament. Hood ornament. It floats down the road, I tell you. Wow. It's a fun, fun ride. like to be a great great car to haul the family around in um, as you you don't need a, uh, a chauffeur's license to tote around your family chauffeur's license are just for if you have a business that's Indiana law um, let's see anyways well happy biddings and uh, Hope, hope we can have a stress-free sale. Thank you.